I've been sleeping alone for what seems like ages now. Still can't get used to it. Heidi... Well, she hasn't been the same since the attack. Three months ago. Slight understatement there. <laughs> it's her birthday last week, she wouldn't let me kiss her. Not even a peck. In fact, she doesn't let me go anywhere near her. Once upon a time, she'd do a strip tease for me. <laughs> Try and distract me from the football. Of course, it always worked. <laughs> How can you resist such a red hot vixen? <sighs> she blames herself for the rape. It's not your fault, I stress. There's only one person at fault here, and that's Bradley Stone. We felt sorry for the lad. Welcomed him into our home, and that's how he repays us. Little did we know he had a rapist under the roof. He was a friend of Heidi's from Scotland. His gift to the gab landed him a job as a junior office clerk in Heidi's travel agency. It's opposite the sports shop, where I work. It's hard to believe he was just 18. It's a mere kid. Talk about a giant. <sighs> he looks so mature for a teenager. Couldn't afford to pay his rent, so Heidi innocently suggested that he can use the box room till he gets himself back on his feet. When I heard he had nowhere to go, no money, knew nobody else in London, then I welcomed him with open arms. That's the type of guy I am. Or was? Me and Heidi, we're, we're just good-hearted people. But they say bad things happen to good people. I thought he had a crush on Heidi when he mentioned that she reminded him of his ex. <sighs> How I miss Heidi in bed. <laughs> Even the way she used to warm her ice-cold feet on my back. <sighs> that girl. We're like strangers now. It saddens me. To think we indulge in small talk when we were once childhood sweethearts. Sadly, I don't think our relationship can repair itself after Bradley Stone's tainted it. Yeah. That fateful night back in December, Bradley Stone ruined what we had all right. And if I ever, ever see that scum again, I'll... Even in May when the baby's due, that's not going to save our marriage. Bradley Stone ruined what we had all right. After Bradley raped, Heidi didn't even stay with me. Her one and only lover. No. She went to her older sister, Sophie. I used to knock about with Sophie back in the day before I fell for Heidi. I suppose you could say there's history there. Well, knowing how anxious I was, Sophie called me. She explained Heidi's odd behaviour. She would lock herself in a bathroom for over two hours with a king-size scented candle. She'd take a hot shower followed by a lukewarm bath, followed by a cold shower. Then she opened up to Sophie about the attack giving her details that, quite frankly, make me shudder. Sophie said her little sister had changed forever that dark, cold winter's night. I knew then it was the point of no return. Well, five days later, it was Christmas Eve, Heidi came back, apologising for abandoning me. I said you don't have to say sorry. But when I went over to give her a bear hug, she hid behind the Christmas tree. I'm not the monster here, I said. Bradley is. I'm sorry, Sam, she said. 
looking like she was about to give birth at any minute. Well, support me then! I yelled as I fell to my knees. I can't, Sam, she said. I can't bear you touching me since Bradley... But I'm the victim here, I yelled, breaking down for the first time since... Since Bradley Stone raped me on the kitchen floor at knife point. Luckily, my attacker got stopped short oh, by Heidi. Her evening class was cancelled. She was home early. She grabbed the wok, hit him on the head. Dazed and bleeding, he fled. I can't. I don't want to think about it. My wife rescued me from a spotty teenager. I'll never live that down. Never. I just wish I had the guts to report him. I can't face the repercussions. Heidi said I should, because he's still out there, scot-free. He can pounce again any day. <laughs>